What's going on, everybody? Hello. Scrap Shiny. And this is Shadowrun. Wait. Oh, but it's not really Shadowrun. It's, it's Johnny Clean. Oh. <laughs> He's about to clean house. All right, so we're going into the Matrix here. So we're going inside of a database to try to figure out who matches up with uh, Jack the Ripper's identity. So I'm going to go right here. It's probably going to trigger these guys, but whatever. So those are ICs. Yeah. So ICs are the bad guys. I remember ICs from the original Shadow. Okay. Wow, he's a shaman. So. Kind of, right? They can make their own guys, too. Oh. Yeah. We should handle them quickly, with, then. With their only abilities. Well, I can make my own guys, not them. Oh. Uh, area of effect. Let's go with, like, that, I guess. I thought you were saying the ICs can make their own guys. I was like, fuck, we better hurry up. Oh. Well, that's the big one down, and he missed. This guy won't miss. Oh. He's got double moved. Uh, what we got? Increase your hit chance. No. Heals your friends for... No. You should really just hit with him, probably. Yeah, I'm just trying to see what all's good. Let's just reduce our alarm a little bit. It's going to reduce their what? Alarm. So if your alarm goes too high, I think you can get kicked out of the Matrix and uh. stuff like that. Um, Where's your alarm at? It's on the bottom left right here. Oh, it's already really high. Yeah. Um, I've never really been kicked out of one, so I don't really know. Gotcha. There you go. You don't know how oh, it works he didn't if die. you could just sort of come back in. Yeah, I don't remember. I it just makes it harder. It would you you would come back in and all the enemies would be respawned. All right, so DNA match. Uh, Silas Forsberg, deceased. Profession, uh, chop shop, surgical assistant. Prior, breaking and entering, two counts. Public one count indecency. Public indecency. Brought in for questioning on accusation of unlicensed plastic surgery. No charges were filed. 100% match to a dead man. Well, let's fucking keep looking. I don't know if that guy's actually dead or not. Let's go right here. Mm -hmm. And we'll do... Powerful attack on this guy. You know what I was thinking about, Zach? As to, we've been playing Shadowrun. Are there vampires in this Shadowrun? Because uh, there were vampires in the last Shadowrun. You remember that? Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember. I don't think there are. <laughs> there was some fucking... A whole vampire went through a wall in the last game. But they exist. Oh, so they're real. I don't... I don't... They exist in the universe. I don't know if... I don't remember if they exist in this game. And I don't ah. think they do, but... Because I know... Sh him. I know the Super Nintendo Shadowrun's not exactly... The most, like, follows the fucking actual game. Yeah. Thing. You know, it has its own little stuff. So it's I wasn't right really there. sure. Boom. Nice. Let's take a look at this news archive, which I think is bonus money. Um, the body of Silas Forsberg, a chop shop surgical assistant, was found in the apartment of Snahom, 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 Snahom. Snahom, Snahom. Yeah, that's probably close. Uh, the body has been there for as long as a month. When the landlord realized there was a rancid smell, contact authorities. Okay. Saying so, suicide. Yeah, mm. which is weird. They say he was a good worker, pretty much. Um, but, you know, depression. Uh, next, a king cannot be located. Identity of the psychiatrist has not been released due to privacy concerns. Another sad end to a life. You so, know what? Nothing. Newsnet. Something. But Newsnet is officially a suspect. Says Jack out, real quick. But we let's got more to looking. explore. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh shit. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh, that's weird. They're on a different plane of. Yeah. Can you get over there or? No. But everybody has range attacks in this. Gotcha. Okay. Mm, Ouch. Damn, damn. That's okay. Boom. Luckily, Johnny C. is good at this shit. Yeah, he's real good at what he fucking does. Cleaning? Autopsy reports. Because he's cleaning some shit. Uh, subject has found overdose and half a dozen different sedatives, antidepressants... Identity, identity cannot be confirmed immediately due to disfigurement. Oh, I had Jesus. to check dental records to confirm. What's weird is that um, his body was so just you know so fucked up 
and, and for one, in a suicide. Yes. And two, they can only tell from your, their dental records. Mm-hmm. You know, we've played plenty of games and plenty, seen plenty of movies where that can be faked or someone else's teeth kind yeah. of thing. So who knows if that guy's actually dead. So here's what we know. Our DNA evidence belongs to a dead man whose death was never explained. He worked with the chop shops, which fits with the living guy that you've met. Right. The newsnet says he left his estate to a psychiatrist. Maybe finding out who his psychiatrist was will give us our next clue. My gut says we can deck in to the medical board's records and reverse trace to find this doctor. You in? Fuck yeah. Okay, let's go right here. You need a summon, correct? Yeah. Let's, let's put you out in the open. Yeah, Brett. Let's go. Still. Oh, on. that's good. Oh man, oh, I thought you I hit him. Me. What the fuck? I fucked up. He looked Sorry. like he got hit. I mean, he hits pretty hard anyway. Um, go ahead and heal myself up. So the healing works a little bit different in the Matrix. I so. noticed that. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Looks like he's full healed. How often yeah. are you actually in the Matrix? Is it a lot more Not than outside? Or, okay, so nah. not really. Medical records, files located. Okay. 2020 to 2030. One particular pediatrician's entry stands out from the rest. Okay. Child suffers from chronic depression, social anxiety. Okay. Upping the dosage. Okay, so he's depressed as a ch- kid and so, they were giving him extra yep. shit. 2030 to 2040, okay. Gone. So 2040 to present. So we're in the 2040s Mm -hmm. as far as years go. This guy's supposed to be dead. The file is quite large and takes well over an hour to read through. The final entry, however, is written by Dr. Henry Holmes. Silas has overcome significant mental disorders. It no longer goes through periods of violent episodes. Okay. Lately, medications seem pretty effective. Unfortunately, my efforts to maintain an emotional boundary with them have proven challenging. He has bonded to me in an unhealthy and, frankly, unnerving way. His hero worship exhibits itself in the form of mimicked speech patterns and adopting my dress. For this reason, and for the health of the patient, I am assigning another doctor to this case. I'll inform him Hmm. next session. So this guy thought he was a doctor. I want to take care of this guy fast. Just in case, yeah. Yeah. Uh, 99%. Might as well kill him. Yeah. Oh, okay. There okay, we go. Uh, let's see. So, Henry Holmes. Check the current employment status. Holds position of chief psychiatrist and administrator. Mercy Mental Hospital. Okay. Okay. So, previous employers. Uh, he worked as a psychiatrist over there. And... The hospital in Snohomish, okay. Tending psychiatrist, okay. Private, Private practice. practice. Okay. Mm. And as the meat world comes back into focus, your head once again tries to settle on what world is the real one. So yeah. Yeah, it's just trying to say that the Matrix felt just as real as the real world. Yeah. Even though it's all computery. Okay. Well let's see. What do you got for me, David Fry? Any luck in there? We found an exact match for DNA, but it's linked to a dead chop guy. Okay. Mm-hmm. Silas must have an identical twin brother. Maybe Silas faked his death. DNA doesn't belong to the killer. Um, Probably the last one. I don't know. I'm thinking faked his death. That's a distinct possibility. What was it that we saw in the autopsy report? Uh, if he was so ma- mangled that he had to use dental records, yeah. yeah. He was killed by sedatives, but the coroner still thought he ripped his own. Simple suicide, yeah. Dental records. Good catch. That matches up with something I've seen runners try. It's easy enough to find a body shop that'll make a replica set of teeth for you. Find some schlub off the streets no one will miss. Swap the teeth and throw the heat off your trail for a while. But why would he need to go through those lengths? Do the police records have something linking to him? Different crime. Uh, he had a oh, yeah, prior right. for unlicensed plastic surgery. True. Wouldn't look too good on someone's record if they wanted to become a doctor. I think this is a beginning to come together. Yeah. So this dude is actually trying to become a doctor. 
Dr. Holmes, employment, yada yada, all the evidence points to him being your killer. Let's see what kind of cool stuff I'm thinking about. If we can buy better weapons and armor, now is the time. It's time to equip that shit. Because the, um... The weapon only increased your attack. Oh, yeah, I forgot. We had a cool ass beard. That's right. <laughs> cool beard man's back. Oh, my God. Shadron looks like a goddamn fool. <laughs> Shit, man. Hey there, Delilah. We're looking for some peeps. I need to hire a crew to take down this fuck. All right, let's just go straight to the best people. Fuck it. Uh, pretty solid choices overall. And also, Girl Face Magoo. Girl Face Magoo. And uh, Dumbface McBeard. Yeah. But she's really, like, she's not that great, to be serious. She's actually a pretty shitty shaman. But she's free. <laughs> I like free. I guess? I'll, I'll fucking carry the team. Shadow. I mean, this one ends up happening every, anyway. Yeah. Most of the people suck that you're bringing. So the Mercy Mental Hospital. I know this place. So... We're going to find this guy that's masquerading as Dr. Holmes mm -hmm. and track him down to this hospital. Okay. Welcome, sir. What business brings you to Mercy Mental Hospital? I'm here to see Dr. Holmes. Oh, mm -hmm. a new customer. I don't like how you say customer. That's <laughs> weird. I'll go notify the good doctor. Okay, well, might as well look around, right? <laughs> Please stay within the cafeteria. Okay. What's up, Lorraine? Have you seen Josie? And the pussycats? Uh, I don't think so. Not a long time. I know, right? I haven't seen him for days. He's got a super brawl gold ring he always wears. From when he played for the Screamers. Oh, that's cool. Urban so brawl. I'll see if I can find something. Alright. I'll look around. Oh, well, this, this place looks, looks so pretty dumb. neat. Mm. Since the blood and mold gets ever stronger as you get close to the infirmary. Okay, blood? Maybe. Neat. Mold? Hmm. Less so. Oh, hey, is this arm? A severed arm lies next to the zipped body bag. The arm looks human and appears neatly severed at the elbow. There's a large gold ring on the index finger. Oh, no. Its owner is probably the occupant of the bag. Well, let's look at this ring. It reads, yeah. Screamers 2048. This guy's fucking dead. Oh, shit. Lost surgical tools. Oh, fucked up surgical tools like saws and shit. Well, they cut the fucking arm off. Find an unlabeled trivet disc. Well, can we'll we look fuck with that? Uh, let's see. Read the medical history. Jose Josiah C. Dawson. Oh, that's that's the guy. The patient had undocumented cyberware in his left arm. Oh. As well as multiple pieces of shrapnel in various locations. Complications would likely arise if transplanted to another host. The rest of the body is in excellent condition can be used to improve other subjects, as well as fulfill some custom requests. Well, that's pretty fucked up. Well, Jesus. Let's just leave, everyone. Act like nothing happens. Let's give this ring back to this dude. Alright, Lorraine. I found something for you. Here's an arm. <laughs> just smack her with it. Man. Wake up! He's dead! Josie's not looking too good. Josie's dead. I'm not sure how to put this. Just, just let her know. Fuck it. Josie's dead. Dead, but I just saw him. I do you know what happened to him? Who should have this? <laughs> you mean he? Oh God! Well, thanks for your help. <laughs> he wants me to marry him. Attention, oh. Shad Rod. Please report to the North Hall. Oh, they're fucking privy to you now. Oh, you got some camera. I like camera. Well, cool. Now you're more strong. All right. Hey, you wish to speak to me? Is that an elf? Oh, hey, I remember that guy. Good day to you. How can I help you? We know this guy. Dr. Holmes, a.k.a. Silas Forsberg. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's not call him out right away. Maybe we should go for that bottom one. Especially considering you're dead. Because that puts a... We're not calling him out. It's like someone else. I'm sorry. Who's dead? Let's see. There's a good racket you had going here. But you got slapped with your kills. So and now the Ripper's trail leads straight to your door. The only trail I see is the one that you left in your own wake. Uh oh. In fact, I believe the Ripper may be standing right in front of me. Guards? Wait, wait, wait. Oh! Wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh shit. God damn. Ow, fuck. On the ground now. <laughs> You've already shot Yo, us. That's a little late to be, uh. doing that, alright? Yes. It's time to turn on this motherfucker. 
Yo, what you doing, bitch? Oh, God. Well, God damn. Oh, this thing, like, never has to reload. But it had an option to reload. God, that guard is so much fucking health. Hey, what are you doing? Hey, I'm hands. Oh. How dare you dodge me? Dodge huh. me again. See what happens. You can't dodge when you're dead. That's just science. Just in case. What did you just put on? I'll just heal on her back up. Oh, was she hurt? Oh, she, yeah, she got hit. Seems like a good Dr. Holmes has something special planned for you. I'm afraid I can't have you leave. You know you won't be getting paid after you kill your boss, right? Good luck in the basement. Holmes and Pitazol are waiting. Who the fuck are they? Who? Little piece of shit. Who's Pretzel? You're just gonna run into the doctor's like, Oh, I never knew you would go through the bathroom. <laughs> He's taking a shit inside <laughs> there. Oh, shit. <laughs> Guys, the, this is unfair. The respect of the duel. You'll Basic wait for me to come kid. out. Oh, hey guys! Yo, what a bitch! You know so what? in reality, you just gonna was, see these hands. There was no reason to deck that thing. What we could have done is we could have decked and not killed the guards, probably. But because we did all of the above, we probably Come got on. the most benefit. Yeah. I just mean from a role-playing idea aspect, it's like you can use your decker to slip past everyone, or. Oh, he gets drone back out. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Of course, he's garbage. So I think this is an elevator. Mm -hmm. Is this character from the scene? Yeah. Uh, let's go and turn that off. Oh, you have to bring everyone through one yeah. by one, huh? Stay back. Who opened the cells? They'll kill us all. They'll kill us all. They, they, the doctor opened the cell, so that way he could fucking... It's time. Stop you. Killing hands. Strid? Trying to get that stride on. Just Give him a little bit of haste going on. Oh my god. <laughs> Hello, I'm here with the hands, motherfuckers. Yo, what up, though? Miss. Jesus <laughs> Christ! Chad, calm down! <laughs> la, la, la. <laughs> Excuse me? Did you just fuck up? Did you even want to fucking fight me, huh? I don't think you did. I think this too. You made a fucking mistake today. You were an innocent. We killed you. I was perfectly fine with not hurting any of you. And now, now all of them have to all die. All of you are fucking dead. They're, they're all good guys in there. Alright, let's just end your turn right there. Yeah, see, they're coming out. Guns. Who gave the prisoners guns? I don't know. It's part of the fucking rehab process. Just give them guns. I don't like it. Oh, is that summoning thing over there? Like by the bed? Or is oh, that just flies? Be. Might be actually. Yeah, it is. Ah, there we go. I could totally use that. Yeah, might as well. <laughs> oh, shit. Hello, you fucking disturbingly gross thing. Fuck. He just makes a fucking tiger noise. That guy- He's the real hero. Yo, Bitch. let me show you how this is done, boy. Choom! It's like fucking zooms the fuck away. Fuck it out. Can you despawn him? Uh, I might be able to. I think I can. Might as well run all shit, the way. Yeah, so fucking far. Oh! Holy shit. Well, yo, Dude, what he, up? He's just a surgeon! Oh, shit, what the fuck? Oh, the guy on, just ran on. around the corner and hit hold me. Hold on. I was, he has a fucking assault rifle. He's not fucking innocent. Oh, yeah, no. He's not. You thought you thought I just ran up to fucking fight this innocent person? Yes. Oh. Well, well looks like nothing. Someone once told me... At, that I was a broken thing, but he also said I could remake myself. He wanted to break me down so I could put myself back together again. And I did, but only after I broke him. Jesus Christ. I could remake you as well. Oh, okay. Well, that's cool. But I'm more inclined to use you for parts. Oh. So, he is the guy who killed the doctor. Dude. So he's not the doctor necessarily, right? Correct. He's Silius or whatever. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, hey. What up, though? You heard about my killing hands? Hey, what's up, guys? Oh my gosh, that's Shad at the door? Holy fuck, no, Shad! <laughs> Get the fuck back, everyone! Hey, can I get your autograph? Oh, fuck! Can you drop his armor? Yeah. Just hit him before you hit him again. Let me haste up. Alright, let's see if Manifest stacks. Damage. Nope. Wait, oh, yeah, I thought you were gonna hit three times. What? No, that's not what Manifest does. That's that one move that we saw, but the, and that's only for melee weapons too. Ah, oh, okay. It's called like chi blade. So mana face is not actually good. <laughs> it is. If we had not done killing if, hands. If I don't have killing hands on, and if something's really damaging, like or like really defensive. Okay, so there's a lot of guys there. Let's go right Just there. Just everyone up. Fuck it. If this Decker guy didn't make us so much, <laughs> money, he'd, be, he'd be almost worthless. Oh god damn! What the fuck? Oh shit! Why? No, I what just turned I do? around and there was hands. What have I done? Just try to kill, right? Oh, guess not. Oh, I can't. Line of sight blocked. God damn! I might be able to kill that guy. Yep. Nice. Perfect for Shaz. Yeah, there's ley lines right there. Shaz just standing there like, Denny. who killed this guy? It wasn't my hands. It wasn't me. Was it me? What's up here? By all means, you have proven yourself a truly fine specimen. I can think of a hundred uses for one such as you. The body modifications and my healthy supply of patience. I'm perfectly set up to be a Bunraku fixer. If I can find a supplier for Persona Fix chips, I can sell full service Bunraku and even program behavior trees. So. I'm pretty sure, people. yeah, to sell them as sex objects and stuff like that, mm -hmm. pretty much. All that's left is arranged delivery. Man, that's some, some fucked up guy. shit going on here. Yep. So, yeah, and they can pretty much make them act as any other, like, it make it act like a celebrity or so, shit like that. You know what that makes me want to do? Throw hands. Throw hands. Throw hands hard as fuck. He throws some killing hands, alright? They ain't fucking called soft hands or... Surviving hands. Or hands. Just regular hands. They're kill killing they're, hands. They're fucking, they murder everything. The Emerald City Ripper, before you is a medical lab that turned to torture chamber. The smell of old blood and decayed flesh permeates the room. Gory stains speak of the body fluid spilled without regard for the well-being or hygiene. Got it. This place is gross. So we've yeah. chased him into his lair. So we're about to have a boss fight. An ugly soul and does his safe haven. It's okay. I wonder how many people have back. Holmes, Silas, the Emerald City Ripper. The elf is a monster beyond compare. It's time this, to end this. This is the final boss, really. We're about to get paid. By the person who never had fucking money. Um, I'm a little suspicious of all that, but I know, right? Shad run up in here. Ooh. You're a persistent one. A fine specimen indeed. How much longer are you gonna hide, boy? Much longer are you gonna hide, Doc? Hide? Nothing of the sort. I'm simply an observation, and what I have next in store could prove most illuminating. Pedazel, subdue them. Where the fuck's Pedazel? Oh boy. That guy looks mean. He's the guy from RE6. Oh, he's a yeah. melee. Oh my Fuck god, he hits multiple people. Oh god damn! Of all the people to hit. Yeah, it's really obnoxious. All right, she needs to do it now. Nice, we got Duckman back. We got Confusion. That's pretty good. Acid Stream. Pretty if you're gonna good. do Acid Stream, you should do it now. Goes on for one round. One round. That's not oh, that's that great. Not, that's not regular right. attack to make him lose AP is the most important thing. All right, Shad Run. Killing hands. Son of Killing Hands up. And then time to give them those hands. It's time to fucking... You know, I, I'll, I'll get rid of some of these ads. Oh, fuck. Alright, let's turn Hopefully you on. Hopefully he can kill this dude. Boom. Nice, nice. Let's get some damage on this dude. Uh, fuck, of course not. What? Never mind. Fuck damage. I mean, our guy should probably... Our guy's up there. Oh, Shad! Yeah, Shad's just gonna fucking... Do some business on that dude. Come on, 
should probably just... There we go. There we go. Because this guy... I want to focus on the boss. Yeah. Like, he fucks this boss up. Like, pretty bad. God damn. There we go. So now he can't even do a turn. How much AP he lost. Jesus Christ. Um, let's go for oh, that. Oh, 10 damage is nice. Oh, yeah. whoa. Well, what if you put it around him? He's a melee character. Yeah, but he's stunned right now. He can't even do anything next turn. So, But maybe the next turn it might be worth it. Yeah. If he doesn't get stunned. Let's go ahead and put on stride. Since I can't reach him anyway right now. Oh, <laughs> Oh, what the fuck? Can't you do anything right, Petazel? Oh, oh fucking Jesus Christ. Bitch. Well, luckily Shad's up there to handle this. Yeah, man. Shad's gonna fuck this dude up. What the fuck were you thinking? You think you just fucking come into my fucking house? You whatever fuck you think you could do? He had a lot of health. Yeah, he did. <laughs> God damn it! Fuck! Oh, he left. Can you resummon? No. Uh oh. Doesn't look like there's another summon spot in here either. Fuck, because that's a really good boss killer right there. So if you could drop the barrier around him and get her out of there. He'll move, so. Fuck, I can't. Last side's blocking. Can you move and then do it? Yeah. Okay. It's all around him. Okay. Oh, she's just got. Oh, shit! She'll be okay. She looks pretty not okay. Fucking goddammit. Get out of here. Piece of shit. I seem to remember you having. Oh, nice, nice, nice! Yeah. That fucked him up. Oh, that's that's awesome. Okay, so she's been trauma kitted, but. But she can't probably until the battle's over. Yeah. Or maybe even the next mission. Or she should be. She should be good for right now. Because otherwise, why would you use it if she can't get up? She'll get up. It's just next turn. Gotcha. She'll get up immediately. Same. There we go, finally. It's a hit. Do we want to adjust that lightning barrier or something? Cause it did do some fucking work last time. Yeah, it sections them off really well. I, I don't, I'm gonna assume that doesn't affect how much damage lightning does to him, but we'll see. Oh fuck. Shad's right there, unfortunately. Okay. Let's get her the fuck away. Yeah, she just needs to go. Can I hit him from here? You, you do mage fist. Yeah. I'm sure. gonna imagine he doesn't. Oh, fuck. Fucking piece of shit. Oh, that sucked. I guess you can't hit him from there. Oh, fuck! Oh, nice. Oh, but not nice. He's going towards a healer. Luckily, he put himself in a corner again. He doesn't actually have much, uh... He doesn't have much health left, so... Shad, run! Oh. Shad, punch! With a weak hit, he fucking killed him. That's a strong dude. Alright. Is there anything else in this room? I guess we just gotta talk to him. That wasn't too bad of a battle. There's some shit that went on, but... Alright, Holmes drops to the ground, the light in his eyes fading fast. But something keeps the shriveled husk of his soul stuck into this mortal coil for a few moments more. Damn, that's some fucking... You beat the shit out yeah. of him. Yeah. This is a place of broken things. I remake them. She... She asked me to remake her. She was playing both of us. Yeah, I got an extra action point. Great. Hey. Who's she? Yeah, who the fuck is she? Is it then a Jessica? final bloody whisper. The Emerald City Ripper breathes his, breathes his last. It's a whimper. So he's just like... Alright. So a whole bunch of fucking papers and shit. So let's investigate the workspace. Holmes may not have been a real doctor, but his handwriting certainly fits the stereotype. Uh, stuffed in the last few pages is a copy of Disinterment Order 
from a local cemetery with a grave occupant marked as Melinda, Melinda Watts. Watts. Was he trying to put Melinda Watts back together? Access the pocket secretary. Still logged in, granting you access to his currently loaded files. Prominent among them is a hospital report from a donor program. It lists the organs besides the names. Alright, so your eye catches Sam Watts' name beside the entry for liver. Also on the list are the Ripper's other known victims, along with several others that Wait may share the same fate. Who's Melinda Watts? That's their mom. He's trying to put their mom back together, maybe. Yep, that's what I'm saying. He's trying hmm. to put her together. But why? But why? Yo, it's male bun Raku. Oh, man, these are the fucking... His chip slot is still fresh. The open wound, pink and wet and lurid. His voice drips innuendo, but his eyes say nobody's home. Well, hello there. Did you come to play? Uh, no thanks. I just want to know what's going on. Forget him. I'll tell you anything you want. I'll do anything you want. I'll be your little playmate. Buyer. Name. She's assembled a standard config, man. Fuck. Persona fix chip wiper. Oh, hey. Here we go. Erase Holmes programming. His eyes focus and his hand raises slowly to touch his head wound. The fingers come across wet and sticky. Panic twitches the corner of his mouth and surveys the room. First you, the girl, and then his own body, which is no longer his. Sweet Jesus, what did he do? What am I? He begins weeping, his body racked in great, inconsolable, heavy sobs. Look, man, you gotta break people to, to, re to rebuild them. That's what a great man once told us. You just walk away and he fucking kills himself. It's like, <laughs> oh, fuck! <laughs> well, it happens. Yup. Alright, time, let's to, let's get out time of here. to blow this joint. Oof. Finally feeling your eyes on hers, she faces you and raises her head in a proud, almost defiant manner. We've done much good here tonight. We removed two vile creatures from this world, and so ended a growing shadow that cast upon the city. We Our did not need crossed. to bring this girl. I wonder if other characters would talk to us Joined. the same way. Uh, no. Very interesting. But now, here our paths must divide. Because she had a reason to be here. Her brother was killed. Yeah. You know. Because of you, my brother... That's what justice. Okay, cool. Cool. Uh, what about Lone Star? They can't be far behind. When they enter that room back there, they will have no thoughts other than thoughts of promotion. With a ripper in hand, my brother will be forgotten, along with other victims. Well, fair enough. Good luck to you, Shad Run. Good luck to you. Let's bounce. The Emerald City Ripper, the man who violently repossessed the internal organs of Sam and Jace Jessica's mother, Melinda Watts. And although the killer's dead, his grip on the city's broken. It's clearly, he wasn't working alone. So we pieced that together. Yes. So we gotta figure out what was going on there. Yeah. Union's quiet this afternoon. Alright, so not a lot of people have come in yet. Alright, everybody. That's it for this episode. We're gonna mm -hmm. figure out what the fuck's really going on. Probably next time. Yep. But for now... Uh, 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 punch, punch, punch. Punch. Shad punch. Oh shit punch. Don't forget to punch the shiny in your day. Like Shad. Alright, we'll see y'all later. Peace. Bye.